again, friends and fans, Raptor here, and welcome back to Farm Manager 2018. We got a big task ahead of us here today. We're going to buy some tractors and get these fields all plowed, cultivated, planted, and possibly even uh, make some hay and straw in one of our barns. So if you want to see more of this series, which I know you guys do, go ahead and blow up that like button. This is a very cool game. It's like Farming Simulator meets, like, Tycoon games. So it's really cool that from a top-down view, we get to hire staff, we get to build fields, we get to set up uh, cow barns and uh, buy equipment as well. We've got a large concrete area here today. Oh, we're going to buy some tractors. That's what we're doing today. So let's get started right away with going to the machine market. So things are going real well on this farm. I've started with uh, two million dollars here on a, a free play mode which you're allowed to do we're gonna go ahead and buy ourselves some tractors here today so first of all we'd better buy ourselves uh, this tractor which apparently is the most generic tractor that we can have we're gonna go ahead and throw that in the parking spot and we're gonna go ahead and start with plowing so we better buy uh, one of our plows here it seems like we only have one type of plow at the moment and uh, if you recognize any real-world uh, ideas or, uh, I guess, equipment, go ahead and let me know. I haven't seen anything that I've recognized before, but we'll buy that as well. So those two should be delivered. We'll also buy ourselves a cultivator as well. And finally, a sewing machine so we can get everything put into the ground. There's our planter there. Is there any bigger planters we can have? Oh, precision cedar. Oh, that should be good. Oh, that's actually used for apples. Oh, wow. Oh, no, tomatoes. Okay, very cool. Well, we're going to need this for, apparently, that's pumpkins. What do I need for wheat? I need something here for wheat specifically. Uh, let's see. Oh, I bet it's the... Oh, no. Fertilizer spreader. Cultivator. Let's see. Planter. Doesn't say whether or not it's for a specific product. But I'm assuming the precision seeder will work. Uh, let's see. Specified crop on previously loosened fields. This should be it right here, even though it doesn't say. So we'll buy that as well. All right. Everything should be on its way to be delivered shortly. All right, so let's go ahead and... Oh, by the way, we've got all of our new employees here. we got people taking care of our beehives, and we're making a ton of money from that. And we're also plowing and cultivating some fields here to plant some apple orchards. So we're going to see what's faster, one tractor on a giant field or 16 workers, or almost 16 workers, planting over here. they got a head start. We also have ourselves some chickens, so we need to take care of that as well. So let's go ahead and see if we can go to the market and purchase some chickens, and we'll get somebody on taking care of that right away. Now, how do we do that? Let's see. Oh, there comes our tractor. Never mind. Oh, dude. That is cool. Our tractor has arrived. Wonderful. All right. Thank you, sir. All right. So now we can, uh, let's see. We can get this. Oh, wait. Actually, we need to wait till some of our attachments arrive. I don't. Oh, here they are. Oh, no. Never mind. That's a construction truck. Oh, here we are. That's it. They're bringing in our equipment now via track. Oh, look at an army of tractors is coming in to deliver our equipment. Wonderful. You might want to pick that up there, buddy. You're cultivating the road. All right. So now with that said, we're going to plant some wheat over here and get that started ASAP. We're going to need a driver for that. So let's go ahead and uh, see if we can assign a piece of equipment to that. I wonder if we can do that. Uh, there we are, machines. Excellent. So we can actually uh, take our tractor here. We can pick someone to drive it, and then we can uh, send it on its way. Unfortunately, we've got all of our workers uh, working on our fields at the moment, so we'll have to grab somebody real quick and see if we can pull them off to do something else. Let's go ahead and uh, relocate. No, release. No. Uh, go ahead and stop what you're doing. I don't want to interrupt everyone, but anyway, we'll let them get a head start. Well, actually, the rest of our equipment's arriving. Perfect. All right, well, while that stuff's arriving and getting in place, we'll go ahead and buy ourselves something new. We need an area to store all of our future goodies, such as our uh, hay and straw and uh, haylage and plants and seeds, so we better put this down so that way we can store everything in here. So we'll put our barn right there on the corner. Perfect. All right, that should be constructed shortly, and uh, we'll get to work on... Oh, excellent. People are uh, done planting over here, it seems. They're done for the day, and we'll get somebody on our chicken coop as well. We have two houses for our workers, holding eight workers each. We can even get seasonal workers if we need as well, which might be a good idea. So let's go ahead and build one of those as well. We'll get our uh, house for seasonal employee up. Oh, wow, this is actually a very large house. Maybe we'll put it uh, facing the lake. Now, that, that actually looks very nice if we do that. Uh, let's go ahead and put that right here. Perfect. All right, that'll be up and running in a second, and we'll get a bunch of seasonal employees. So everyone right now is permanent employees. We're going to need permanent uh, people to take care of the farm year-round. So we'll be making money from apple trees and eventually from the hay farm, or from, uh, rather, the uh, farming of wheat, and then eventually some cattle. So let's see if we can get some cattle going, too. We should have a building around here for that. Uh, let's see. We've got to... Uh, ah, here we are. For animals, our cow shed. So let's go ahead and put that down, too. And we can even put that over on this side if we want to. Looks like it can be connected on either side. So let's connect it right over here. Actually, let's do it this way. 
We'll put the cows towards the uh, towards the road. Very nice. Perfect. All right, lots of construction going on here at Rat Pack Farms, so welcome, everyone. We can uh, do all sorts of details, including down to the fence, the stuff that I put down, including the hedgerows, too, that separate some of the houses and the trees as well. So a lot of these workers are getting tired. These are very big tasks for them, so we better get some of our equipment up and running. So let's see if we can maybe have somebody uh, grab something else here in a second. We'll have somebody grab that tractor shortly. Oh, and here comes the uh, construction for the barn. And then the cow shed comes up next. Oh man, this is good so far. All right, let's go ahead and build some more dirt roads too, so that way we can separate some of our fields and get workers to where they need to go. Actually, we can separate it this way. Excellent, so we can put some uh, flowers here, we can sell those, and we have some extra room here to expand on our farm and do a few uh, other things I think that might be coming, well, maybe a little bit later, maybe a little bit later, we'll do, we'll do some big stuff later. All right, looks like the roads are looking good. We got ourselves a water source over here too, but we can also water with our tractor as needed. We can buy some more parking spaces. Oh, we might need to do that actually. Maybe we should put some more parking spaces just on the other side. Uh, let's see, under tractor garage, there we are. Oh, all right, looks like we don't have the room for that, but we can put it over here as needed. Hmm, let's see, what should we put? Or should we put it on the other side? We've got plenty of room over here, though. I don't want to disturb the forest. We'll put it over here. Perfect. Alright, just next to the chicken coop. Hopefully the chickens don't mind. Okay, barn is going up, and so is the cow shed. It's almost nighttime now, or at least it's very rainy. $1.5 million remain. Let's see if we can get a worker on this. Okay, let's get to working with our tractor. Uh, okay, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and uh, first of all, we're gonna plow, then cultivate, then fertilize, then sow, then water. Basically all in this order. All right, let's go ahead and find a machine to work with. We're gonna grab the tractor Riga, and we're going to grab the plow, and we're going to grab somebody out of our list. Looks like our seasonal workers are here. Let's try one of our seasonal workers. Maybe we should try a full-time worker, but we don't have room for them. All right, let's do this. We're gonna hire a bunch of seasonal workers. Oh wow, lots of people to hire. What does this mean? Skill of a seasonal worker, okay. We'll hire quite a few seasonal workers to do these fields here. This should free up some of our full-time people. We'll just grab at random. All right, so, interrupt work. I want to go ahead and stop you guys from plowing. Let's go ahead and start on the regular uh, people. They'll be assigned in just a moment. All right, I want to see this tractor at work. Back to plowing. Choose a machine. Tractor Riga. Choose one of our full-time drivers now. Three out of five, one out of five. Let's grab the uh, three out of five there. And let's get to plowing. Let's go. All right, looks like uh, Viviana is going to be on the tractor today. Congratulations, you get a really cool job. All right, now we gotta get work going on over here again. It'll reset in a minute and let us do it shortly. Looks like another parking spot's going on for more, uh, more equipment. Let's put another field over here. All right, another field is ready. And it looks like the cow shed's going up. We'll need to grow some grass over on the other side to feed those cows in the future. So everything should be good. All right, looks like workers are coming over. Where's our tractor driver? So first we're going to plow, then cultivate. And then we're going to sow and fertilize and water all of our equipment, uh, with our equipment. Oh man, this is gonna be awesome. All right, let's do a little decoration while we wait for the work to start. Let's go ahead and uh, put down some trees. Something that looks nice. There we go. That looks great. Alright, a couple trees along the road. Looks healthy. Alright, good. Not much we could put there anyway. Cow shed is almost ready. We're going to need to uh, get some folks on taking care of these chickens now. So what do we got for uh, animal tending? Oh wow, look at this guy. Animal skills right there. 
Boom. P Preston, you're on it. You're on chicken duty. And let's go ahead and buy some chickens from the market. I believe we do that from... Is it actually from the market? Yes. All right. Chicken. C-H-I-C. Oh. Can we buy eggs? No. Okay. How do we buy... I need to get myself some chickens. Maybe we do it through here. Animals, zero out of 30. Oh, we just buy them here. And we can have 30 of these. Perfect. Allowed food. So we need to grow wheat, corn, rye, oats, sunflowers. We'll go ahead and auto-manage that. Uh-oh. And uh, we'll go ahead and make sure they have food here shortly. All right, very good. The tractor's starting up the moment we've all been waiting for. There we go. That is it, folks. Viviana's on the plow. You go, girl. All right, so the field needs to be plowed first and then cultivated. Plowing is uh, not even started. Does she go... Viviana, do you know what you're doing? Oh, there it goes. The, it's going up very slowly. Oh, there she is. Okay, she started over here. Awesome, folks. Hey, this is no Farming Simulator 19. This is Farming Manager 2018. Very nice. I think you missed a spot there, Viviana. Oh, never mind. My bad. All right, very cool. All's going well over here. Let's go ahead and, uh, let's see, autofill. All right, anybody and everybody, we're going to need you guys on plowing for those fields. Wow, look at that. The tractor's going. All right, after that, we'll cultivate, and then we will uh, sow as well. All right, let's buy another tractor while we're at it. We got 1.5 million, so we may as well do it. Let's go ahead and buy ourselves... Oh, wait, what's... Oh, look at this. Cool, animals are being delivered. Very nice. Coming in the pickup and trailer. There goes our chickens. Very cool. All right, uh, yes, we'll need to buy a harvester at some point, but we'll do that later. For now, let's buy our... Uh, let's buy another tractor to get things done twice as fast. All right, let's buy that. And let's buy ourselves a uh, trailer. We'll need that eventually. It doesn't seem to be for wheat. But don't you need a tipper for the harvester? That's an interesting choice. Uh, we have ourselves a sprayer or a slurry tank. May as well use the sprayer here. And let's see. Ah, here it is. The seed drill. It's different. Oh, okay. So that one was for pumpkins. This is for uh, wheat. Good. Glad we looked at that. So now we can grow different crops, too. That's good. We'll use it in the other field. And the water trailer, too. Okay, that should be all of our spaces. Very nice. I feel like we're going to need to buy another one sh shortly. Wow, look at... They're doing good work over on the plowing. Almost done. They haven't even planted anything yet. But meanwhile, the tractor's doing a good job. All right, let's see everything as it's planted. Here we go. Well, we've certainly had a lot of work completed on the farm this year for sure. We're now going to wait for our harvest of pumpkins and the wheat to be completed. 99 days left on the wheat field and uh, 83 days left on the pumpkins, man. This is looking pretty good. I think we got to wait until next year until we can uh, grow our apple fields or our orchards. 220, uh, 30 something days left on that. So we got to see the tractors and all the equipment that uh, is used for that. So next time when we come back, folks, we're going to go ahead and take a look at what the gigantic harvester can do. And if we need to use, for example, uh, a different type of tipper and how to make uh, all the Ooh, that wonderful hay. We're going to make maybe make some silage in the future with corn. You know, make some chaff and that kind of thing. And expand upon our farm. We can buy more land. So with all these farms, we should be able to maybe make a giant cornfield and do so much more. Again, if you liked what you saw here today, go ahead and hit that like button. And we'll be back for a harvest pretty soon. It's going to be exciting. All we got to do is wait now. So I'll see you all next time. Thanks for watching. And grow, baby, grow. I'll see you in the next episode. Bye.
And we are back, folks. It is now time for a big O harvest here in Farm Manager 2018. Let's get started then by, uh, I think what we want to do first is, uh, well, actually, we got to wait a couple days, five days until the pumpkin field is ready. But in the meantime, let's go ahead and do something that's really going to make us a ton of money. Let's put down some windmills to modernize our farm and to make advantage of the extra space that we have back here over by the parking spot. As you can see, we've upgraded a few things and uh, we need to buy a few more things as well in order to begin our harvest. So one thing I know we need is our chest trailer which is a tipper trailer we're gonna need that for the harvest so let's order one of those and we're also probably going to need a round press machine here for that as well now I don't see anything off the top of my head that can actually harvest pumpkins I may have missed something but it doesn't look like there's anything available to harvest pumpkins uh, there is for planting but not for harvesting at least from what I've seen so we'll have to do it by hand so we're gonna have ourselves a good old-fashioned race how many employees on this pumpkin field versus a harvester on this field let's see who wins oh we kind of already know who's gonna win all right let's see let's go ahead and go over to our oh you know what actually we need to research um, let's see uh, renewable energy perfect and that's all good to go and we also need to build an area in order to store our grain so that's gonna slow us down a little bit if we don't build that we need a grain storage area, medium silo, perfect. We'll need that for our uh, wheat. There we are. And uh, that'll be built here in just a moment. And also uh, maybe another parking area, but uh, let's get our windmills down now as soon as we can. Oh yeah, it takes, uh, I think it's three days, no, seven days of training. All right, so here comes the rest of our equipment. It has arrived, very nice. We're just waiting now until the pumpkins are fully ripe for, uh, for harvesting and the wheat field is ready to go as well. You can see that I've purchased a few extra sprayers and such to keep the wheat field from uh, being overgrown by weeds or fungi. So we are now finally ready for our pumpkin harvest. Ready and go, go, go. There we go, all right, perfect. All right, let's slow down time. Everybody's gonna need to come on here for the pumpkin harvest. Let's get them a, a little bit of a head start. 12 days left on the uh, wheat field. So let's see what happens there. Okay, in the meantime, we've just got a ton of, uh, wow, a ton of uh, honey to sell, almost 200 units of that, so that'll make us some cash, and I bet we're going to probably get about 60,000 from the pumpkins, so here comes all the workers to uh, pick up all the pumpkins, very nice. All right, let's go over to uh, build ourselves some windmills as soon as we can. I'm getting antsy, I, want, I totally want to finish this training, let's go. Oh, it's almost done, perfect. Ready, three, two, one, go. Perfect. All right, now we can go ahead and build ourselves some windmills. Excellent. All right, let's start building these bad boys. Okay, there's number one. I'm going to try to build three of these things. It'll bring us money year-round. All right, third one. Oh, there we go. Just had to move the tree out of the way. Perfect. Three windmills being built on the back corner. Very nice. All right, so three big old crazy million dollar, actually $60,000 windmills, but they could bring in a million dollar windmills are going, and it looks like people are going crazy with the pumpkin harvest. Look at how huge some of those pumpkins are. That's insane, man. I love pumpkin pie for sure. All right, how's the wheat field? Five days left on that. Oh, they got a head... Wait, wait a minute. Okay, oh, I was looking to make sure we had everything. Okay, they got a head start. We should be good. Four days left here. So crop quality has dropped a little bit as, uh, you know, the weather is a little changing. But uh, I actually had to go ahead a whole year and wait for everything to go. The game didn't trigger yet for the uh, harvest to be ready. All right, profit from produced energy this month, 108. Oh, we're going to make a ton of money from this. Very nice. Okay, are we ready? Three days. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can beat it before the pumpkin harvest. So here we're going to have to have somebody work the tipper trailer and also work the cultivator, or rather the harvester at the same time before we swing in with the plow to cultivate, plow, and uh, then start watering the soil again. One day left, ready, and here we go. Come on, almost ready. Time to harvest. Okay, let's go ahead and grab the machines. We want the combine. Uh, oh, we need a worker on this. Uh-oh. All right, let's see if we can hire somebody. Can we hire a seasonal worker? All right, let's hire a couple workers here. All right, we want to do seasonal workers. Oh, they're not, are they not here? We have them ready. That's weird, I just hired two people. All right, well, let's get everything ready with the tractors. All right, let's choose the chest trailer. Oh, and look at the pumpkin harvest go. I wonder if we can do it in a faster time. Oh, I don't want to do hand tool. Oh, maybe they can't. Oh, they're not allowed to drive tractors, I see. All right, it's got to be the full-time staff then. Is there a way we can take a couple people off here? Uh, relocate or release. Oh, you can't actually... Oh, that's weird. 
You can't just tell them, hey, you're going to be working over here today. All right. All right, looks like we got to wait until they're fully finished with the pumpkin harvest before we do that. So either we have to interrupt the whole job and tell everyone to stop because we need one person in the tractor, or we have to hire seasonal people who apparently can't do that work either. They can't drive a tractor yet, so that's fine. All right. Pumpkin harvest is almost completed. There's no race about it, by the way. I think our, our basically our harvester would have gotten everything within a matter of minutes, and then we can have ourselves a big sale. And I wonder, how are things over at the, uh, at the apple fields? It looks like the apple orchards are okay. They're fruiting, but, oh, and it looks like they're ready for a harvest. Oh, my God, it's going to be a huge harvest. We've got everything, everything being harvested on this farm. Uh, apparently we failed some contract which we didn't even agree to where we were supposed to grow grass your neighbor's like hey if you grow a bunch of grass before november i'll give you a thousand dollars and it's like who would ever have that deal with their neighbor who is going to be like billy unless you grow a thousand carrots in the next six months i ain't gonna give you no money it's like okay whatever i'm gonna play xbox then okay one more pumpkin to go and that is it the harvest is complete we got it all right now we should be able to get started on our other harvest now Let's see if we can hire our workers. Excellent. Let's put Matthew... No, let's put uh, Meryl. Meryl on there. She's got 5 out of 5 on the Harvester. And let's go ahead and put uh, Viviana on the... There we are, the Tipper trailer. All right, go girls, go. Let's see what happens. They're getting to work. They're, they're here to harvest now. Now, everyone else, we're going to need you all on, uh, on uh, manual duty to... Uh... Oh, wait. Uh, let's see. Do you want to sell... Oh, we're, run we're running out of space uh, for 50% of their current price. No. And what it's a weird thing in this game, too. Sometimes they don't let you do that without being completed. Oh, here we go. Here comes the harvester. Uh, oh, okay. I was going to say, where's it going? doesn't have a head on it. All right, small warehouse. Let's see. Seeds and other plants, fruits, and... Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and do this. Let's sell our pumpkins, then. Ooh, pumpkins prices are really good. Boom. Big money from that. All right, let's start harvesting our... Uh, Start harvesting our uh, apples now. All right, perfect. Okay, let's see what happens. Now, I'm curious to see this harvest in action. Oh, very nice. Oh, that is so cool. Uh, are you going to... Okay. I guess the tractor's just going to chill there while he's doing the harvest. Oh, look at that. They're already like a eighth of the way done with just one pass that's crazy okay we got a bunch of money from the uh, pumpkins let's go ahead and see what it's like to sell honey honey's made a little bit of a fall in price we can still make a couple six that wow six thousand out of that let's go for it boom and let's see what our uh, apple harvest is at here okay it looks like they're getting everything they need here and the windmills are going nicely Oh, they made us about $1,000 each. Excellent. So about $3,000 coming in there. Oh, and look at that. The tipper trailer is nice and full. Very cool. There goes the harvest. Beautiful, man. All right. Wow, look at that. One, what? 13,000 apples harvested? Holy. Wow. All right. Apple harvest is done. We shouldn't have to plow or do anything with them. They'll be fine. But we could probably water them. Maybe now is not the season. Okay, Tipper Trailer has delivered all the wheat. We now have uh, oh, plenty of wheat now for the uh, for the chickens, though unfortunately uh, I had to sell them off. And they need a little bit more in their diet than just a little bit of uh, wheat. But we can go ahead and uh, try to give them a bunch of wheat, which will probably be bad. I wouldn't want to just give them one variety of food. Okay, let's see here. All right, apple harvest is going to take a little while there. They're all done over here. Now we can do some baling. Let's do that. Oh, do we have to get a bale trailer? I wonder if we have to buy a flatbed trailer for that. There we go. All right, let's start that process. I wonder if we can buy a flatbed tractor. Or, uh, I mean, a flatbed trailer for it. Ah, there we go. Trailer for straw bales. Excellent. Let's buy one of those then. And I wonder if there's a way to put those on there. Do we need a tool for that? Wind rower. Oh, yeah, that's all for grass and such. 
Okay, now we're going to do some bailing. Very cool. So you got to see tractors do everything from plowing and cultivating and then being a part of the harvest. And now finally some... Uh, oh, wonderful. There's our delivery. Excellent. And then we can uh, pick up all those bales as our last step. Very nice. And the apples. Everybody gathered all the apples. Perfect. All right, it's almost full. Might be a good time to get the chickens in gear. Let's go ahead and uh, buy some of those. And I think we can buy a total of 30. Yep. And then let's go ahead and give them a bunch of wheat. Perfect. Okay, now we got chickens again. Mmm, everything's going great on the farm. We've got windmills to bring us some money. We got baling going on. We've just had a huge apple harvest. How much money can we make from that? Ooh, it's a little low on this side. But we can make 34,000 off of that. Oh my goodness. All right, we'll hold off a little bit on that. And the honey, I think we can uh, sell that right now as well. That should be good. Make us a little bit extra space. And as for the apples, we'll wait a little bit until that comes back up. And for the wheat, um, how much wheat can we sell? Let's, let's try to sell... Maybe 4,000 of that. Oh, that's only going to bring us a little bit of money. Wow, wheat really doesn't give you much. But the baling, that's going to really make us a lot of money. All right, let's see the baler go a little faster here. And let's see our chickens. There we go. Finally chickens. Chickens again. And now we finally have wheat for them. Oh, wonderful. He's going to go grab some wheat, I think. Or maybe not. Okay. All right, look at everyone just leaves our farm by just driving out over here. We should make a road there. Make it look more realistic. I don't know if there's a way I can delete this or not. I guess not. Our farm really looks nice. It's actually functioning. And look at how nicely those bales have lined up. Wonderful. Low amount of food and animals building. Oh, don't worry. He's bringing food now. He should be anyway. Yeah, there we go. Food is all good. Okay, baling is done. Let's go ahead and do our next task, which is going to be harvesting bales. Wait a minute. Let's do it via machine. There we go. All right. Meryl, you're up. Let's see what happens on the flatbed. Ladies are kicking butt here today. Doing good on them tractors. All right. Here we go. Just going to jump over here on this tractor, grab the flatbed, and haul everything off. Then we can start plowing and cultivating again. Look at that. Look at that fully loaded bale trailer. Look at that. That's awesome. You go, girls. Oh, man. Ooh, she's tipping. Woo! That trailer getting out from under you. Very cool. All right. So the chickens are good. We've got pretty much everything on the farm in order to cultivate, plow, uh, bale, uh, sow, water, treat uh, via spray, fertilize, so much more. Plus manual labor for some of the... Uh, manual tasks on the farm. I don't think there's a way we can harvest pumpkins or apples without manual labor, but it definitely works out. All right, let's speed up time here. Oh, look at that. There goes the bales. Can we sell them? Oh, we sure can. And how much? Oh, 420 bucks. Cool. Straw bales can be sold. So hay bales, straw bales, um, and the weed itself, all good. Wow, look at that. Do you see that trailer jackknife like that? That was insane. All right. Well, now we can go back to uh, plowing and doing everything else. All right, that is a full season here on the farm, folks. Thank you, everyone, for tuning in. I'll be back for more harvesting and more uh, big objectives here. We'll buy a bigger farm. We'll clear some more areas, and we're going to have a massive harvest here. Let's see if we can put a couple big fields together and see how big of a harvest we can do in the future of our wonderful farm. So until next time, I'll see you all very soon. Thanks for tuning in. Farm Manager 2018 becoming a good one, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye, everyone.